Coverage continues with CBS4's Amber Diaz. She's following the superintendent as he tours schools on this first day of school. And right now, she's at Sandpiper Elementary School in Sunrise. So, Amber, what's the superintendent up to now? Well, good afternoon to you both. Yes, as you can see, just heard from Riel right there in Parkland. Superintendent Robert Runcy, very busy day. He's currently here at Sandpiper Elementary having lunch, a meet and greet with students. We followed him since early this morning at the bus terminal in Pompano Beach. He says the goal of today is to make the parents, the teachers, and students uh, help them with the adjustments in Broward County. It's 5 in the morning, and it's the first day of school. Bus drivers are inspecting their buses here at the terminal in Pompano Beach. The bus fleet is one of the largest in the nation. The safety is number one issue for us, especially for me. I do have grandkids. Yeah, so you know. <laughs> yeah, that's right. A few hours later, the kids have arrived, but they have no choice but to wait. And the anticipation of starting a new year builds. I am scared because it's just a lot of things running through my mind. But this school is a great school. I like it, to be honest. And I'm just ready to learn something new this year. As parents hug their kids goodbye, sending them off for the day, some question why the usual gate here at Crystal Lake didn't open up at 7 this morning. Instead, kids seen hanging outside. I go to work. So I'm not supposed to drop outside the school. I want to drop inside the school. This is one of the new security measures Broward County Public Schools has taken up to beef up security. The gate now opens at 830. That is a big deal because we used to open the gates at 7 o'clock and we've had we've had kids here as early as 715. Superintendent Robert Runcy says the district worked all summer to find the right people to train as school resource officers, but they still have over 300 spots to fill. We put a high bar on it in Broward County so that I think our initial group, there were probably a couple hundred applicants. We, we um, were able to go through and only about 30, 35 qualified. In the classroom, even more changes. They're expanding debate in schools, increasing unique educational programs, and adding dual language programs. These changes for any kid and her parent are enough for first day jitters. So, a piece of advice? First day jitters are normal. Um, if you have a little bit more this year because of all the things that have happened, I get it. Back out here live in Sunrise. Now the superintendent, we're told, has four more stops on today's tour here in the district before his day is over. Putting live in Sunrise, Amber Diaz, CBS 4 News.